ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the SCM Podcast. I'm Jack Millington, and joining me this week, as usual, as ever, first of all, it's Mikey Adolf Keating. I'll get to the reason why. Well, and I also joining us this week, he's <laughs> <laughs> the podcast before, it's Matty That Foreign Crap Morris. Oh, peace off. <laughs> peace off. <laughs> Bonjour. Peace off. The reason why I called you Adolf is because you're now... Because no, because he's allegedly now the king of Germany, as he so no. proclaims. <laughs> the king, no. king in German is Kaiser. Get it right. Oh well, I couldn't give two flying faces. Oh sorry, just don't, don't have a go at me. You just got your first victory in the season. Yeah. How yeah. many have you had before your first two? No. Oh yeah, don't yeah, ask me. Yeah, don't no, ask me. No, we've had to listen to it for the past two seasons. Oh, you see on Facebook. Five minutes later, yeah, next one. And now we'll be hearing about this. And what did they say when it happened? Oh, yeah, we'll hear about this all year and now. Have I said more time? No. Uh, Mikey, I'll jump in for one minute. For the past two years on Project Cars, all we've heard is, for fuck's sake, <laughs> every time you're flying off the track, <laughs> for fuck's sake, <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Boom! That from Marty, <laughs> why did you do that? I, I forgot my breaking point. And the way you laughing your head off. That from Marty. Oh my god. Give the day. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Dude, this guy, oh, look. look. Got no Scottishman taking me drag and following me around the track. I wonder where he was. That's all you hear from you. Oh, buddy, I'll oh, get out the way. At least it's different the times. Hang right? <laughs> on a minute. I love the way he goes. That's you all the time. It's not you. No. Am I? Am I a hundred? Someone who's all. What happened so- to you the other day? By the way, on Friday. I believe we were, were flying off the track and disconnected. No, no, we are. <laughs> on the I don't mean disconnected. I mean rage no. quit. I'm not discussing this. No, we're in the podcast. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it, all he did was spin off the track. No, I didn't. Screamed into I his head. Explain- I will explain. I've seen the video. You went off the track. There's no contact. No, I will explain to my colleagues. I was, colleagues right, be- in I was due right behind time. you watching the entire battle. I will explain I've seen the in due times. Mikey, you did a fuck up and it cost Lads, you the race. I'm not gonna fucking continue this conversation. I'll explain in due fucking time. How's that sound? Next week on the podcast. <laughs> well, we got to suck off again. Suck <laughs> off, Matthew. <laughs> my my foot is easily positioned to just. It's you, just you do it every week. You, don't see the point in you taking part apart from GT3. You just crash. <laughs> yeah, you just moan I and slide hard. and crash. I still finish. <laughs> 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 you don't fucking finish the race. <laughs> I'm not having this. Right, that's the end of Project Cars to piss about. Yeah, I'm gonna play a song. That's gaming news, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play a song. Uh, it's bloody blindingly obvious, but the year is pretty difficult to guess. And uh, here we go. Hopefully, when it loads. My name's Jack, and I take it up the AO. Oh, I've actually got an interesting little thing. Upcoming album featuring the boys. <laughs> <laughs> featuring t- fucking solo from Mikey. Was uh, Queen? It was Queen. Well, all right. Pressure. Although, to be fair, the original was done by Bowie and then he combined, didn't he, at the live concert? I think it was for Live Aid that year. I think it might have been later. I think Live Aid was 80 some. I can't remember. Anyway. Elliot. Late 70s, it was early yeah. 80s. So, what year did Under Pressure come out? Uh, Under Pressure came out in 19... So that's a good start. 84. 1984. Batting from the left, it's the young Morris. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> You're really bad at this, aren't you? Well, with his grand total of music guesses being naught. He's actually won one. No, that was that was not music, that was gaming, so... Oh, shit. Yeah. No, but you can still technically to sort fair, of classic. I do like my soundtracks, I can tell you when soundtracks were released. But, but that's the whole point Normal people this. music doesn't interest me. <laughs> so See, I could play so many more songs that I know he'd know, but you I'll go, go for 87. Here you go, so if, if you're on this whole sure. soundtrack, can I just test something quick? Yeah. Right. Um... 
Why you do that? Uh, you're both wrong. 17. I know. It's a hard one, that one. 1982. That's two years. Uh, Live Aid was 1984. I didn't. I, I realised halfway through it, I went, 1980, oh, forgotten. I thought, no, if I say 84, then he'll know it was before that. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Right. While, while Mikey goes to load that thing, I'm just going to load up the so first main. You know your themes, don't you? Apparently so. So, what's this off? Obviously, you, you don't know, play it for don't play it for too long. Look, otherwise, look, look, obviously, so you know what it is. Yeah, I, yeah would, okay. I would lower lower the volume now because if YouTube picks up, we'll get in trouble. So that's not screen. No. Yeah. To be fair, that is a tough one because even I couldn't remember that. That's a pretty tough one, to be fair, Mikey. Oh, sorry. Uh, for anyone that didn't know, it was... Um, I'll, I'll let you do the honours. That was... God. Call of Duty. Which one, though? Modern Warfare. Yeah, you'll know this one. Fair enough. He doesn't shut up about it! Well, that's always... Uh... To be fair, it could have been Halo. It could have easily been Mass Effect, you know, the Reapers. You know that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Matty gets it after his initial. What do you need? Is I, I think imagine, like, imagine him trying to I play like a buzzing dead game dead on dead like dead. ITV. Bah, it's 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 Hornets. The, the question was about uh, apples. <laughs> no, it's bees. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you, do you, he'd be well suited for a super owner. If it doesn't work, give it five minutes. Try Kick it. <laughs> try it again. Well, he, um, he literally is Jeremy Clarkson, doesn't work in a hammer roll. So, <laughs> tap it a little bit. Actually, just a, a quick bit of side news before the main news. This is Jeremy Clarkson. Did you, see what, yeah. did you see what he did? Blew up his house. I was like, he was worth 4.5 million. And everyone was going, like, million, yeah. and there was loads of people going, oh, well, the sound must have been hurt. And I, I sat there, and loads of other people who don't like Clarkson actually backed him up and went, that's actually the best way you could demolish a house because <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to cost too much money. No. In, it's, oh, it's, blown up, it's blown up from the inside, so the outside's just not going to... Apart from the dust, maybe. But and, it, wait, imagine it's, trying to... Did he just demolish the house to build another one? Yeah, yeah. he's building on top of it. He's yeah. building a six million pound house on there. <laughs> Our fucking genius. <laughs> but here's the fun. I never clicked onto this until I read what is going on where that was. Yeah, no. A six-bedroom house with an underground cinema. The creator, he's actually made. What you'd have to do is just get the thing <laughs> just flatten it out a bit on the sides. I don't know, because you'd have to lower the foundations as well. No buffing guy. He's I mean, already would... done the foundation. Yeah, he's done the foundation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just the guy's a fucking genius. But anyway, he's got planning he's, permission. He's... Everyone was like, he didn't get planning permission. And then someone from the council went, yeah, he uh, I, I, I can confirm. Was it, I can confirm Mr. Clarkson and his lawyer did apply for <laughs> planning permission. And they technically did. Whatever they do, demolish it. Because it's technically cast as demolish it is, yeah, because you're removing the building. So the guy, it's official, official a official genius. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next clerks and then co-construction? <laughs> Actually, no, it would be demolition services. Yeah. It wouldn't build anything. Well, they are... Let's say the old thing is... Yeah. Remember the house, oh, um, house challenge? Do you know... That, that oh, was, do you remember the one you... No, wait, wait, let's not, get, let's not get too sidetracked, but... I will say about that How demolition. How you not get sidetracked with Jeremy Clarkson? I will say that demolition <laughs> thing. If it was on any other TV show, that would have been hilarious, but it's yeah. Top Gear, that's fucking stupid. It's a car show. Stupidly funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, setting an Olympian's house they on have wheels. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a Top Gear special. That made sense. What's the Olympian house one? Yeah, it was, uh, what was it? Ground Force. Yeah, the Ground Force. Top episode. Ground Gear Force. Yeah, yeah. fucking brilliant. Um, or what was the? Uh, oh, one? Top Gear of the Pops. Do, do Did you ever see that one? No, yeah, that top was gear so pops, funny. Definitely. I need to look that up tonight. Do you know what? It's quite hard to find. Oh. If um, there's. Top Gear the Pops was before Ground Gear Force, I think, wasn't it? No, yeah, I it think was, it was, think. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever watch the uh, the Kit Car one? Yeah, I've watched As, like, he's putting the seeds in, like, Richard and it's James have put it in. He goes, ah, the seeds are in. He goes, Jeremy, it's the wrong way. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you, you're not going to get a seat in with a hammer. We'll get the bottle, the hammer. You, you, you can't do that. <laughs> She's like, there, if I can't. Yeah, I remember that. Hammer, no, I think I've watched every single one um, because of the DVD I've got. Yeah, I've watched every single episode. I've watched and I'd say, one I'd say I've watched them all at least seven times. So oh, hey, I watched the nineteen eighties hatchback one the other day. It's like, right, if you're a car thief, 
Thief, do not watch this, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how you rob a Vauxhall Nova, right? I've taken the hazard warnings for a child. I've taken it upside down, pushed it in, and voila! It, yeah. You know, all you need is a bump stop. Boom, 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 boom. I've got the key! <laughs> I've just noticed the only panel I thought was actually real to the car isn't because everything in the 80s was robbed, so they put registration on the inside, on the, inside yeah. of the windscreen and... Well, this one doesn't match this one. Yeah. Oh crap! I this podcast just no, no, no. It's just called the Jedi Mikey car. Goes, Mikey goes like this, and then goes like that, then gets pushed, that, and then he goes. I, I goes, drift. It's I, like when he flings off the track. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, onto main sorry, news. Which sorry, is, sorry, who's is, the one that did is car news. Fuck that, because it was the Nerbay ring. Um, ding 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 ding. You're gonna be asked right around the Nerbay ring twenty times. It was seven. It was seven. <laughs> <laughs> which, would, which would have been less than an hour, which it was. In fact, it it's probably been the shortest like race of the season. 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. It was about 45. Yeah, 40, yeah. Hour. Anyway, um, I this, to be honest with you, this thing deserves a meme. It should actually just say, recalls. Recalls oh, everywhere. I think I saw this, yeah. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, is this on the new uh, Type R's? No. This is to do with, in America... As per usual, see, is the Americans are so good at getting mass production out that they forget to quality check it. Uh, General Motors... Uh, quality check? General Motors? What's that? Are, <laughs> recall, are recalling more than 4 million vehicles worldwide due to a software defect linked to at least one death. At least being the keyword. <laughs> the, the company says 20. the fault is rare, as most companies do, but can prevent airbags from deploying during a crash. Now, <clears throat> last I checked, Years and years ago, when airbags were first introduced, they didn't have software. They just reacted from the crash. Why are they now being software related? Cheaper. They're all being futuristic. Yeah, but if you had it manually, at least it'd work. But this thing, cheaper? Yeah, it's not cheaper. cheaper. It is. It is the software. Yeah, but they have to, if, all if, you, if you, mani- if you manually your... produce it, it means right. that you have to... It's like can I, compression. Can I jump in? I'll let him do it. Basically, on your bumper. Yeah, yeah. Like all around the car, it's like in yeah. the chassis, the sensors in newer cars. So obviously, so like in a Merc or something. Of course, which are the ones that first that, had yeah. Um Basically, say when on an old car when you hit it, the, the force goes through the car, and obviously when it hit it within a millisecond, it reacts to it. Yeah. The airbag, and obviously that deploys. Your head goes into it. You fucking head it for about six hours, and then you're all right. Ish. Yeah, that's true. Depending on how obviously bad it is. But obviously in newer ones, it when you hit the car, it depends on it, so much does, force. Does it activate primarily just before impact? Because I've seen a few in it's Europe. It's second. It, it's yeah, it's literally... Like, the in cinema. Europe, some cars eject the airbag before the actual yeah, crash, which is... The way it is, yeah. on the bumper, as soon as that goes in, obviously the force... From obviously the incidents, as soon as that hits, you've got a crash bar. You support bar. Oh, to him, not me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying this to everyone. You've got like, it looks like literally like a, a zigzag with a steel. But as soon as that gets hit, that compresses and obviously the force goes through there. And then you know, like the place. Voila. I think. Obviously, that's on the front and the rear, on the side. Yeah. It's sort of diff. It's hard to explain, but it's the same yeah, place. Yeah. Like what I was going to say was, <laughs> trucks, cars, and SUVs from GM are all to be recalled. The company said it would contact customers and update their software for free. So I think so. <laughs> GM, which is based in Detroit, or otherwise known as the Second Hand Bomb Site. Uh, said the recall would not have material impact on its financial results. Yeah, Bollocks, well. we've seen that with Volkswagen. Yeah, but that was Of the 4.3 million vehicles, 3 and 3.6 are in the US, where the, and you can tell this is America, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced the re- National Highway... T- what was that? NHTSA? Shut up. Or in the, the UK. Co- I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. UK. Traffic police. <laughs> <laughs> the British traffic transport Wombles. police. Yeah. Actually, no, it's... M- motorway agency or highway agency highway. Highway, <laughs> see why it? do we always have the simple things in life we, the Ameri- we try not to make things too like the Americans have like what is it the um something institute of whatever 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 and he just goes like University of Liverpool 
Yeah. <laughs> the recall vehicles are. Are you ready? Uh, now I don't know. Is it Buick or Buick? Buick. Buick. Buick LaCrosse, the Chevrolet SS, and the still Chevrolet going. Spark EV. Yeah, yeah. Still going. It never went down. Jeez. You've got to remember, a lot of Americans are statistically fat. Hmm. That's not offensive because I'm using statistics. Oh, <laughs> man, they are all fat fuckers. Now that's. No, that is. <laughs> see what I mean? There's a, there's a fine line. They're from the models of 2014 to 2016. Uh, All more, views are pressed no. by Matthew Morris, but not the fact <laughs> no. those are the S team. And... I was saying statistically they are fat. No, you weren't. You no, came no, out you, and said... You, you said, fat fuckers, that's the answer. <laughs> 20... Where's Millwood? They're statistically big-sized. Big <laughs> 2014 to 2017. Shut up. Do and not Cole. say a word. You two. GMC Sierra 1500, Chevrolet Corvette, Chevrolet Track, Chevrolet Caprice Police Car, and Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Not done. 2015 to 2017, Chevrolet Tahoe, which looks like a bag of dumb. Chevrolet Suburban, Chevrolet Silverado HD, GMC Yukon, which is awful. GMC Yukon XL, which is even more awful. The GMC Sierra HD, the Cadillac Escalade, and the Cadillac Escalade ESP. <laughs> can, I just say, can I just say something right there? That's how many... Do you want to know how That's many that is That's pretty much every car in their range. 8, 9, 10, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 cars in their GMC 17 range. 17 models. GM range. By the way, that's not including a couple of years back, if I remember rightly, they recalled 2.5 million cars because of an ignition fault, which killed 120-odd people, if I remember rightly. How come GM! Got... Quality Productions! How... How come this company has been shut down properly? Yet? It's GM. It's, oh, do you, well, do you know do, what? Do you know why, do you, now you see why I support Ford. <laughs> You've yeah. always liked the Chevy Camaro. I do. Camaro but that was back in the day when GM were actually better than Ford. Wait, the Camaro is in the Bubbles Camaro. A Bumblebee. Bumblebee, yeah. Not Bubbles. Like, the, know, original I was about yeah. the original. To be fair, the original Corvette. Um, Camaro. Yeah, Corvette, Camaro, is everything. Oh, oh, Chevy and Paul. Good cars then back in the day. Even Buicks back then. And uh, the Grand National Pontiac. Oh, Let's not forget Pontiac. Pontiac. Real, the Grand National. Mm. Now before we go on to weird news, because main news this week has been again. rather clouded by well the fact that it's been fifteen years to the day. I think since the Twitter that, no, that was on Friday, the 9th of September two thousand one. Is it? I thought that, I thought the Americans did their date the other way around. I love it. 9-11, yeah. If it was 9-11, then it'd be the 9th of November. Yes, it'd be 11th for 9, so it is today, is, yeah. The Americans are statistically stupid. <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> use that. That's not fair. Now, before we go Sorry, on to... Anyway, before we go on to... The Americans are statistically not as educated <laughs> but even as though, the rest even of them. All these thoughts on currents are from, like, a key in early on. That's in Marshall, Jack Mountain. <laughs> Anyway, ST affiliated PLC limited. No, don't say PLC. You'll tax us. Well, I got a picture here uh, that Matty can relate. To. It's not a picture; it's a Tumblr post. And oh, me and Matty can relate to this. As someone asked on uh, on Tumblr, funny enough, we were talking about uni before. He said, "As someone asked, what's the weirdest thing about uni?" Oh, and the answer is actually perfect. And me and you can relate to this. The answer goes. How nothing is surprising or abnormal. Like you could be sitting in your kitchen at 2am eating pasta sauce out of a jar with a spoon and the only thing you can think is, this is really tasty, you wonder what it would be like to spread on toast. Secondly, or going into the library and seeing someone sat at a computer wrapped in a duvet and thinking, that's a genius idea. Thirdly, or, and we've done this, or seeing someone sitting in a lecture with a two pint bottle of milk just swinging from it <laughs> and being jealous, which he will testify to. And it's literally, that is actually... Do you know what? Uni, uni students have the easiest... Uh, <coughs> His uni students, I'm technically no longer. X and Curran's <laughs> uni students um, have the easiest... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so hard. Whoa. But the fact you're sitting there swigging milk for fucking... Tea. During a lecture. During a lecture. My term at uni might be over, might not. We don't know yet. Let's be brutally you're honest. Super Let's be impressive. brutally honest, though. We've seen people fall asleep in lectures. Oh, yeah. We and see, we literally just I think... I fell asleep in um, Yeah, you fell asleep. Everyone's, oh, everyone's done something. And we sit there and just go, okay. It's not like... Things oh, that would have be you seen that one in America? Sorry. 
this guy starts watching porn but doesn't put his headphones in all the way and then he can hear off way across the like in this lecture it's like filled with people <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I had a dirty mic it's actually on Facebook mate it's not <laughs> dirty minded in weird news uh, New Zealand news actually which is Ooh, a rarity for us because it normally pop over to the other side of the Oceania which is Australia uh, oh yeah boy. I haven't had flakes for years uh, that's it. That's it. Nah, I'm good. I'll have it if he doesn't have it I don't want to make a mess I'll have it if he doesn't have it <laughs> oh, no, you've had your one item I'm still waiting for payment <laughs> <laughs> oh, for some uh, tax collector in there, you can have that one. There's uh, 50p you owe me now. That's okay. That's it. From now on, we're going to start charging you. We've got it proof on here. Okay. Uh, a private school has apologised for having fake cocaine and razor blades at the party. What? You what? Heard, you heard that right. A primary school in New Zealand has been forced to apologise for having fake cocaine at a fundraiser. I can have fake cocaine. Basically, sure. like, <laughs> well, baking powder would be more yeah, realistic. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I thought was, maybe North, was sweet powders. Northcote School in Auckland had left out mirrors, razor blades, and lines of icing sugar at their adults-only Las Vegas themed party. Okay, it was attended by friends and parents of the school, including the country's health minister, Jonathan Coleman. Asked by, I. I before we go into further into the story, like, I know it's an adult themed party, but. What? In, you know, it's a school. So an adult themed party at a school is already. So there's no kids there. So there's no kids, but it's parents of children of a primary school. Let's just try and get our heads oh, around yeah. that for a minute. Yeah, they want to have a good time, why not? But at a primary but school, it's not in bad taste. Don't like, worry, you, kids. Maybe we're just going to have a party. party after party. Can you imagine that? It's alright kids, we're Maybe. having a party over the weekend. Can you just put these fake looking razor blades and cocaine in the middle? No, they've got hall? actual real razor blades. Which if you if you combine heroin, razor blades and the multiple suicides and no. drug related accidents. Well heroin was included too. You put heroin you inject. Yeah, I know. Cocaine you snort yeah, with I know. the razor blades. I know. You just said heroin. I might have just got the I know, I just said the wrong one. I'm trying to help you. You don't okay. need to be like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I got it wrong. It's fine. Uh, apparently, the school's board chairman Andrew Fox said, "Yeah, fake cocaine in the form of ice and sugar was one of the many props and decorations displayed as part of the satirical Las Vegas theme." And, and he goes, "In hindsight, this was an inappropriate choice of prop, and we apologise for the offence it may have caused some people and for the reaction that has followed." Hasn't New Zealand got quite a strict drug policy in his country? Yeah. If I'm right in saying. So yeah, has, he, has he not been. Why has he not is been. This, is this a governor? As well as the health it's minister was there? Yeah, I know the health Someone minister. should bring him, like, mate, what the fuck's yeah, going and on? The health, and the health it wasn't minister. Drugs, what was it? No, no, no. It, it was, was fake stuff, so what's the point? <laughs> in, a the pri- in, a primary, in a primary school, yeah, the, in a the people have prim- a bit of fun when yeah, their kids with, raise, with, with razor blades. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a bit. With New Zealand drug-related suicides is not great in recent years. I'm just saying, look at the context. I mean, I don't know what type of parties you'd have, but you know, it wouldn't involve co- fake sexy cocaine. parties. <laughs> bunga bunga party. <laughs> no, that's I very remember scary. them off Russell Howard. <laughs> Um, a lot of times. There's some more. Um, is, is that more ill con- no, no. There's more ill-conceived, weird American news coming, oh, yeah. and this one's actually, I think, the most American thing to mark a disaster I've ever seen in mm. life. What's it's this? from Walmart? But you've put your hand up, so I'm gonna let you say. Sorry, just there. this New Zealand story we've just been talking about. Mm-hmm. Apparently, in New Zealand, they class the following. Um, cannabis C, cannabis plant, and codeine is class C. Yeah. Cannabis oil, harshness, me- morphine, opium, epsi, and many amphetamine. Um, yeah, um, amphetamine, yeah. yeah. It's class B. Yeah, and that's only class C here, so that's And class A, very high risk. Yeah. 
Methamphetamine. Magic mushrooms. I love the fact they put magic mushrooms just in its own little... How bad's that? Magic mushroom being class A. Yeah. Cocaine, heroin, LSD. So technically they were using fake class A drugs. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. That's it's... that's why you look at the context of it. Oh, here's the offences and penalties for illicit drugs in New Zealand. <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go. We could be there for ages. Um... Do you, want me to, do you want me to tell you this story? Go on, we can get to that some other time, buddy. Session, cultivation, tracking. Um, really? And he carries on. <laughs> Got it. Start, Mike. Just put the phone down. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How bad. £1,000 final six months. Yeah, but have you seen the six months in prison for a Class A truck? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Class B, three months in prison and slash or $500 fine. I think it's worse though, if, you, if, you're a, if you're a dealer though, I think it's pretty Supply or manufacture, class A. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Life improvement. Yeah, I thought, I thought I was going to say, if class you caught with B, it, 40 like, years, class C, stuff. 8 years in prison, summary, 1 year jail. Stop, or fa- stop, put it down. <laughs> it's good now. It's good. It's gone. Jesus Christ, this is horrific. I know. I'm not even joking. Um, now, Walmart uh, decided to put up a Coke displayers in the drink, um, and they decided to try and, in some way, pay respect to the 15th anniversary of the 9/11 victims. Oh God! Um, no, this is gonna go This bad. recently appeared at a store in, funny enough, of all places, Panama Beach. Where's Panama Beach statewide? Florida. Florida. And. <laughs> You know, you, know, you, know you, you know when you think of something, but then you just think, who thought of this? They just... <laughs> I thought of this. September, they did decided to do a September 11 themed Coca-Cola display with two black stacks of Coca-Cola boxes in the style of Twin Towers. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and, and there's, 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 there's a picture, there's a picture, just for reference, whose who's bright idea was it to go, go on, do you see? We will never forget, fuck it now. We'll, we'll ne- yeah, we'll never forget this Walmart, but the worst thing is some people were actually tweeting about it, and someone put on Twitter, I mean, and this is a quote, I mean, actually, this is the most American thing I've ever seen, and it makes me want to die slow and painfully. I actually can't think of anything more American that Walmart could do. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't For those see, who like, don't know yeah. who Walmart is, Walmart actually owns... Has there. Has there. Fucking hell, I'll I've be seen, surprised I've to go into the one of Birkenhead later. I've seen just... some more, Twitter, wait a second, ground coke, zero. And then the the best one yet, does jet fuel melt aluminium cans? They're just, bad jokes. I just like, I sit there and I think, is it something in the water? Is it so, is it, Must is be. it inbreeding? Now that's bad. No, I'm just saying, statistically the rate of, and this is true, this is a fact that states of uh, inbreeding have actually been on a high in the last three years, have increased in America. I mean, I've never, I've never thought that, but clearly Americans do. Um, some more weird news. Can't I believe it's been happy news. I think this is in Connecticut. It is. Oh God, even worse than Florida. Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, a man in Connecticut is guilty of the worst parking job in history. He's managed to crash his car eight foot off the ground. Uh, so yeah, you crashed were... it. Eight, eight foot off the ground. Above the ground. Yes. Into a house. How? Well, I'll get to that point, but thank you for asking the question. Uh, Plainville Police, that's literally the name of the uh, police department, said the man was driving his girlfriend's Saturn LS when he lost control, sped over a rock island, otherwise known as basically a roundabout, went airborne, broke through a fence, and smashed into the side of a wall. Uh, apparently... What had happened was he'd been pulled over for a suspicion of drunk driving, but he took off when officers told him to put the car in the park. Although the crash put him balanced up on the thing, the driver actually managed to climb out, run away, 
and got away with it until later that afternoon when the officers tracked him down on the local hospital where he's been treated for injuries and stupidity. And the picture Wait, is... what happened to the girlfriend? The girlfriend... Fucking dumped his ass. More, more <laughs> than likely. Uh, here's, here's a picture of the, of the car. You can't see it off the ground because it doesn't... Pat, but there, there's the... <laughs> It'd have been better to have gone through the glass. Let's say. Right. His, his parking gets can, 9 out of 10. Can, can you imagine that? 9 out of 10 for execution. They're watching neighbours all sort of this thing. There's, there's sat in LS. Just... <laughs> Is it, is it, yeah, someone's crashed into the wall again. <laughs> Find the police. I, I literally just like, how do you manage? I tell the police. I mean, hey, it, mate, and there's it's, a uh, we, Mr. Keaton, I'm on the corner by the roundabout. We yeah, mock I'll, I'll women drivers sometimes on the, on the podcast. But honestly, that's... It's me sometimes. Most of the time. Statistically. <laughs> oh no, you can't just throw that word in. You do. Massey Morris news. Oh, what? <laughs> you got your own segment, mate. Oh no! Mighty Morris revved the car box off it again. Hey! Next story. The Daily Mail has uh, revealed how to reveal every Google search you have ever made. You're fucked. Oh. <laughs> the tracking history will even show you what images have been looked at and areas of Google Maps you've explored. Dogging, 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 <laughs> dogging, dogging. Where to, dog? <laughs> And then, and then he'll get confused halfway through. Ooh, picture of a dog. Wait, he, <laughs> even if it's on private. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, that's really not like to look at your search history. You Google users can take a glance at some of the most bizarre things they've had on their mind. And uh, before... And just like, apparently by clicking on history.google.com slash history, users could search anything they search for on a specific date while logged into their Gmail or Google account. Oh, I don't have a Gmail account. You have a Google account? Yep. Yep. <laughs> the site's functions also let you search for sp- specific words as part of, the, of your history. Dogging, 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 dogging. Mm. You can also see what Google images have previously been viewed on your account or what areas on Google Maps. Jesus Christ, account. yours is going to be an interesting look, isn't it? For your focus, for focusing black, for focusing red, for focusing <laughs> blue, green, <laughs> green looking look, <laughs> red panda, <laughs> red panda, 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 panda. See through the door. <laughs> you midget <laughs> porn, midget porn, midget porn. Why gay porn? <laughs> Bondage. <laughs> Two hundred dash X one five. <laughs> Bondage. <laughs> No, but I thought I'd reveal that. Uh, fortunately, you're the only person that can view it, but if anyone gets access to your account, you're screwed. Yeah. I know your password. Sorry, what, yeah, what's your um, Gmail? <laughs> you advise me. Because your Google it. account is linked to your YouTube account. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I just realised. You went, oh, I can delete it. That's fine. Just for the record, even if you delete it, it still comes up. <laughs> what your YouTube account? No, all of the stuff that you've um... delete your YouTube account. Yeah. No, no. If, if he just realised we could do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I actually looked. Mine's not too bad. Sure it is. What about the other one? Yeah. The personal. Oh. What are you on? I don't know. Anyway. Which one is mine anyway? The white one. Stimson. The one that's called cold. Yeah. Talk on cold, pass it. No, he's got he's got sticky bacon rashes, and if you tell anyone to remove the enjoyment of licking their fingers just to get someone else's cup of tea, you deserve to be shot. <laughs> get your own tea. Lazy. F- <laughs> what is the next word in that sentence, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> At least he went through with it. Back to, oh, the phone. Some <laughs> Back to the phone, Mike. Give me the phone or break your fucking neck. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, fuck's sake. What, what you made me like something now? <laughs> um, now, obviously, we're moving on to gaming news for this week. And the big announcement is that Batman Arkham is being released in October. Mikey Keaton decided to play Need for Speed again. No, can, no, uh, and no. Is that <laughs> challenge? I'm only using one car for the whole game. That's not fucking news, it just shows how shit your life is. 
Let's have a discussion here, Mike. No, let's not, no. Mike. Let's not have a discussion. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm all lively for debate. Come on, let's you can have destroy, a... You can destroy all parts of his body except his right hand because he's currently eating rashes. <laughs> ah, he's now making a mess of your room. Yeah, as per. I did our food. <laughs> it's what it's one or the other. It's my foot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just while you're there. Thanks, <laughs> bud. Just use your um, take this pillow. Now, obviously, last week or the other day at the PlayStation conference, they revealed the two new big specs of hardware that PlayStation have come out and revealed, and it's, as predicted, the PS4 Slim, which we've known about for a few weeks, and PS4 Pro. Um, now, a lot of people have been going, well, the PS4 Pro, it's not as good as the Xbox uh, Scorpio, which is true. Which is true, we can't deny that. It actually is, but not as good, sorry, as the uh, Xbox... What was it, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd, I'd, thought I'd talk about the PS4 Pro. Um, the design of it itself has actually just added a new layer on top of it. So if you look at the normal PlayStation there, see where the gap is? Yeah. There's like a third layer now on top of it. And the buttons have now been... You know, like the touch buttons, they're not there anymore. It's actual physical buttons on it Oh, thank fuck that, because it's every time I'm playing a game. Like, there's, there's been some games with Project Cars, and even used to, have like, are oh, you joking, and laughed at me. But oh, yeah, it's beep, beep, beep. It's he's like, you what's up? Um, the PS4 Pro is slightly bigger and slightly wider. Uh, it's only about two centimetres uh, deeper and wider. But it's also half a kilogram heavier. Not too bad. Have you heard all the it? jokes of it though? I'm not. I'm, I'm PlayStation it. Five and it's like four tiers. It's just like yes. yeah. Uh, the connections at the back. They've um, they've added another USB port at the back. So if anyone gets or decides to buy a PlayStation VR for those people who've got money, then that could go into there because the VR headset uses USB. Uh, the, uh, allegedly, the new PS4 camera might have a. USB rather than the AUX connector at the back, which the PS4 Pro still has, so who knows what that might be used for. Um, it's optical drive, which is to do with its Blu-ray player and stuff. It can play full HD uh, Blu-ray discs, just the same as the original PS4, but it can't do Ultra HD. But at the same time, Ultra HD Blu-rays are quite expensive, mm -hmm. which although the Scorpio can do, I was just thinking. I'm sure they announced those 4K graphics. I'm going to get to that in a bit. Ah, right. <laughs> um, mind you, the Xbox One S, which is the slim, which comes out... Or is it already out? I don't know. Anyway, the that can play Ultra HD Blu-rays. Whereas Xbox immediately jumped on with, well, we can play Blu-rays. It's like... Yeah, but we've been able to play Blu-rays without... Well, since PS3. But the uh, thing is, the, I'm, not, I'm not trying to take the piss out of Xbox, but... Ultra HD Blu-rays are for people who've got that bit more money to go out and no, play it's with. It's for people who have too much money. Or people who just... Blu-rays are great as they are. They need Ultra Blu-ray. Um, if you're... Internally, uh, it's, but, you know, it's still got the same AMD Jaguar 8-core CPU that it has. But the difference is its performance has now increased, so they can now accommodate the 4K functionality, which is on... Amazon, Netflix, and Games too. Uh, the Wi-Fi of the Pro has actually been increased, and so has the Bluetooth. Yeah. So that helps uh, with anyone who's got really, really bad internet connections. Mikey. I wasn't actually going to name anyone, but... I'm new. It just kicks me from the party. It's coming from the world's worst man of internet connections. Overall, in the, last, in the last few years. If you, if you, if you, want, if you want a tally... <laughs> He will talk about it in a bit, alright. Mm -hmm. um, the Pro, pretty much in terms of RAM, is identical to the PS4, except it comes with a one terabyte hard drive, whereas the normal PS4 only had a 500 gig option, which is not enough. But Wait, how much was the new one? It comes with a one terabyte hard drive only. Well, one terabyte's still quite a lot. We've got two. Yeah. We've got two. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we got two. Fuck you, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Just get onto our PlayStation and say, you've been fucked off by Sony for telling no. us to fuck off. I like you, Sony. Oh, okay. We'll, 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 we'll let you back. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Um, I think Xbox, okay, all privileges has been reinstated, yeah. The PS4 Pro supports 4K output as opposed to normal 1080p resolution. When it comes to Netflix and Amazon, like I originally said, it'll be able to play TV shows and everything in maximum res, except it can't play physical 4K discs. I think that's good, though, in a way. Because... A, a bridge in one hand, is like, oh, well, that's a bit shame, but at the same time... Me personally, it's not going to bother, but some yeah. people might be fussed by it, which is right, fair enough. Everyone's got different Tastes. types. Of, yeah, exactly. Uh, games are going to be more uh, upscaled as well, so the pro version of The Last of Us is now going to have two different types. So you'll have two options to select in the settings. You can either run with 30 frames per second with a 4K resolution, absolute 4K, which is... Top of the range. I'm trying to remember what... 2160p output rather than 1080p or you can have one that runs at 60 frames per second at a lower res which will probably be in between which will probably be between the 1080 and the 2160 I think yeah um, that's alright because the new tele me and my dad have got in the front room yeah is 4k oh that's good um, if you get a PS4 Pro though other games yeah. such as Days Gone and Car other Bones. PS4 uh, exclusives They'll be upscaled to a 4K output. I've actually watched some footage of a couple of games that are recent, in particular days gone. Nice that, even I sat there with. Mmm. That looks pretty good. I sat there and I'm pretty happy with what they're doing. But the big news, obviously, and this relates not just to the PS4 Pro players, it's that all PS4 uh, owners will be getting a HDR update in this week. So all games that have got like HDR TVs, which mine is, um, all games now will be in a much more clearer. So if you've got a HD TV or a HDR ready TV, then your resolution is going to be a lot better than your graphics. You know what the um, a bit better panel. Apparently, um, someone said they're going to be charging for updates. That was me. Now that was going to be now Sony have officially come out and said that they're not going to charge anyone. Oh, for, I thought. Yeah, but yeah no, you're right. At the time, it? Sony actually had to come out and clarify saying we're not going to charge anyone for the updates, but we don't know what the publishers are going to do. So EA are more than likely going to do it, but aside from that, I don't think anyone else would. But that means you have to pay to update so you can play online again. No, no, you don't pay to update online. It's it just for the just things. for the graphics option. Oh. For, so that's just for like 4K. Oh, you don't have to. You don't pay for online. That's that's PlayStation only. But it's just if you want 4K, which at the moment is on its way, but not quite there yet. It's not that. It's nowhere near there yet. No. My dad got one, tried it out. That wasn't there. A couple of years, it could be there. By the time the next gen of consoles comes round, it could do. But that's that. Well, by the time Mikey's finally passed us a driving test. And the other thing is... He's cheeky twice. There was no need for that. I wanted a little The other thing is, uh, <laughs> the PS4 Pro, and I was saying the other day, has knocked Xbox for six once again, because its release date... I did do it one quick go. No, it's just annoying. The PS4 Pro's release date is November the 10th. My the Scorpio <laughs> The Scorpio doesn't come out till next year, late next year. Uh, Xbox. <laughs> it's like uh, I do sit there and genuinely think what and and a lot of people were saying, and this is not a coincidence, they were going, Well, how are they how are they supposed to, how are they upgrading HDR then for PlayStation 4? It's simple. You know the HDMI cable. Mm-hmm. That the they were all sat there going, Well, it's only a one point four HDMI cable and they were like yeah yeah well that can't do the HDR requires at least I think it's 1.8 that only has to have a software upgrade from the Playstation it scales to 2 I've got a different one compared to you is that is yours the official one how do I get an official one otherwise your HDR is not going to change anything but they were saying though they were talking about the HDR and and I said PlayStation have known this for the whole time. Ever since the PlayStation was first launched in 2013, yeah. 
that has been sat there for the last three years going, well, we'll just wait for HDR to be announced and then we'll just update it through software for free and there you go. I've got an interesting story. Isn't how it? genius. Is, how, that, that's no coincidence. That's just genius from Sony's marketing. Don't get me wrong. Microsoft are obviously going to hit back big next year with the Scorpio. It is the mm. better console. But it's still a case of too little, too late. To win this console war, okay. isn't it? Um, they might come back next console war and just win, yeah. but... My PlayStation 4 is two years old yesterday. I know. That freaking share this photo thing came up on Facebook. Came up on my time hop. So, um, <laughs> also, another little thing, just to, as a side note, uh, PS4 Slim comes out this week on the 16th of September, which I believe is a Friday. Uh, it will come with the PS4 HDR update, as well, as I mentioned. Retail price of that has actually gone down. It's now £259. Which is not too bad for a Slim, which looks actually quite nice. I quite like I can't be asking how not until I've run out of space on this hard drive. <laughs> and then, then what are you going to do? Go and get a PlayStation 4 Slim? Yeah. So then you'll have bought Rob? Uh, okay. Okay. Go away. <laughs> uh, um, there were a few games that were shown at this uh, PlayStation 4 conference. They were talking about Horizon Zero Dawn, which is PS4 exclusive. Days Gone as well, another game. They were showing that upscale at PS4 Pro. FIFA was shown in the PS4 Pro, which looked very nice. All the games have looked very nice so far. I'd just turn it off, mate. Uh, Where is it? Some knob end. Um, but the big thing, and I think this is quite a crucial thing, Mass Effect Andromeda, finally, after two years since it was first announced, was uh, shown in the PS4 conference in the Pro. And I, I sat there and I looked at the, the footage we were shown, and it looks pretty ace. I'm not going to lie. Sat there and I thought, well, this could be this could be interesting. Didn't show too much, um, but they were showing off the the new boost control where you can jump from place to place. And they were showing off the graphics mainly. Bit of voice acting. Obviously, the male character is going to be voiced by Nolan North, which is you know pretty cool. But Nolan North needs to scale back a little bit on his voice thing because he's basically in everything now. But. They didn't show. They didn't say too much. They just showed off what the PS4 Pro could do, etc., etc. And they're not going to be showing anything until N7 day, which is November the seventh. For those that haven't got a clue, that's when the official trailer, gameplay, and all sorts of stuff's going to come out. So from November onwards to its release date in the first quarter of next year, expect to be spammed with Mass Effect stuff because that's what's going to happen. Because EA always launch everything TV adverts internet's going to be everywhere There's more gaming news Matty I need to hand you my green book in that bookcase yeah that one that you got hold of then it's actually to do with the beta for FIFA um, me and Mikey played FIFA at the beta didn't we Mike you only did it briefly but you still played it yeah I'm sorry it's alright I'm always in one of those moods again Slipped into the tired mode. Um, now, I've made a bunch of notes on FIFA 17's beta because obviously the last three days they opened it up so that you could play all the uh, all the new modes and career modes and stuff. They didn't allow anyone to play the journey, which was a little bit annoying, but not to worry. Matty even had a brief go of... Uh, I nearly beat you as well. The key, key words of nearly. Yeah. Uh, the... I thought I'd write down all my, all my stuff on career mode, pro clubs, foot, and stuff in general. Um, career mode in particular, they've made it much more realistic now. Well, I say much more realistic, it's closer to than it's ever been before. Uh, so you can now change stuff like transfers, different expectations for different clubs. You can now actually do training sessions for players. So do that last year couldn't do it properly though last year it was terrible it just didn't work this year they actually have made it work so you can go out now and train I think it's up to five players per week yeah you did that last week yeah last year didn't work though it doesn't matter mm -hmm. I, I had a, there was a lot of big people in the forum down the year no because I'm reading off the list I'll get through to each one but they, anyway they're doing the training sessions for each players I know that it was there last year, but for some people it worked, some people it didn't. 
Um, but they've got like new little features and stuff. You can now like do all sorts of attainments and work on just individual players' strengths, which is quite cool to be honest. And there's loads of different training drills and all sorts. Uh, first time I think since FIFA 12, one of the biggest announcements I've ever seen. Do you know the FIFA announcer? when you're playing a game when substitutions happen mm-hmm. and it's always that same announcer every single game no matter what league you're playing yeah they've got a new announcer yeah, what? they've got a new announcer someone who they, they've got actually different voices now for announcing substitutions and goal scored and stuff wow I know I know FIFA have actually done something Um and how much did that cost them? 10p? <laughs> I don't know. At least, they, at least it looks like they've actually done something with career mode. Uh, the AI feels like it's a lot harder to get past now, so no more cutbacks from Mikey and from the new user of cutbacks, Matty. No more skill attackers by you. That's fine. I, don't, I try not to anymore now. It's annoying. Yeah, but you you went to us today. Uh, what do they call stra- Star Trek? <laughs> I, was just, I just decided to have a go. Trekkies, oh yeah, tra- no, no Trekkies, Jack. Too late. <laughs> but uh, no, to be fair, the, um, the AI does feel a lot harder to get past now, so the cutbacks are practically gone. Basically, now in in real football, if you want to get a ball in, you more want to do it first time. You pretty much got to do it first time. It's got a ball in the box now. Uh, this, the mistakes that are actually made in FIFA now feel more natural. I had one the other day when I was playing in the beta and I sat there and I went, that actually feels like a normal mistake. It doesn't feel like that FIFA's just been spamming code and balls it up for us like it does in pro clubs. So that feels awesome. And at least now if someone makes a mistake, it, it feels more natural. You still get frustrated, of course, because it's FIFA. I love the way Matty was giving Mikey the deaths there. <laughs> uh, more natural movements from players. So says the guy who goes, "I'll run up the top," and then decide, hey, "I'll run into the box." And like when there's two players there, i.e., me and Jack, like, in open space, I'm gonna have a shot at this. Or you go, "Is it not you?" I was, no. I was just about to say, <laughs> that, <laughs> that you, "I'm Mike? sure we'll that's we'll you, Mikey." We'll 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 have a go, son. So it's just a pass it to one of us. You can be complained for that. <laughs> <laughs> I will back him on that. The first one was him, but that one, yeah. Uh, more natural movements from the players, so, and, and, and this is a feature, officially. Uh, you can now do 360 degree movement with your player. I know that sounds so thick, but in FIFA, when it feels like the AI is actually wooden, it's actually a nice, refreshing change. Uh, also, now, you don't actually have to head the ball anymore to win it in a duel. So, you know when you get a ball lumped forward to you and you have to press X, obviously, otherwise you'll lose the ball? Yeah. Now, if you hold L2, you can actually chest it down and take control of it. Well, my guy's too short anyway, so wouldn't I fucking bother with him, like, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, if you've got a pro who can take it back, if you've got a really strong physical player, the one player that sticks out of my mind, Akin Fenwa... If you can just get him up front somewhere, he'll be able to chest the ball down and make a pass. It'll probably go elsewhere, because that's what Akinbema does. He can score, though. Uh, visuals have improved. Uh, the interface is practically ex- the same in career mode, except it actually doesn't freeze anymore. It actually works, the interface. So if you press go to the next match, it doesn't s- get stuck for about two years. Yeah. You get, obviously now, managers have been included in the game, so you can create your own manager avatar, what he dresses like, etc. Which is pretty cool. Also, with the objectives for each club, obviously, if you're playing in the Airtricity League, uh, you're going to be more based in financial terms, so you're going to have to try and raise money through more kit sales, more merchandise sales and stuff like that, rather than just going for all like all-out wins. Pro clubs, there's a few things. Obviously, you can get you can now create your own kits and have your own custom crest. Uh, you've got like this new skill tree to develop the player to upgrade points. So there's no more stereotypical just keep playing matches to improve everything. Now there's an actual skill tree to do everything to unlock Matty's favourite thing, which is second wind. You now have to up, get upgrade points to get that, Matt. Um. But aside from that, it's quite hard to say because 
when you play drop-in matches, it's not the same as really playing proper plo- pro club matches. You were about to say plo I was <laughs> very close to saying pro clubs. Yeah, Historically, <laughs> Matty's hey, boys, they want to say pro no, clubs. No clubs. <laughs> no, no matter, we're playing part of the like, Oh, God, let's go pro clubs. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say, though, to be fair, what pro clubs is going to be like. If pro the, clubs. <laughs> it's just going to be... FIFA, it? yeah, it's it, gonna be. Let's be honest. Me getting pissed off, I can't score a goal. No, because you, you get pissed off be, when you don't gonna, score. You're a goal gonna be for getting two worse. Games straight. You're gonna be getting worse. And then worse. him screaming at me for not passing when there's no. You mean all pass. screaming at you when no, you I'm don't go, pass? I'm, I mean, and then me screaming when I didn't get passed too. And then us getting pissed off when you I'm decide really to pull the sure goal. Does get passed too. That's the thing on the future. No, that, that wouldn't Also, guys, as mentioned down. about pro clubs, the new little icon that now pops up when you press X for the pass. So. We're fucked. So <laughs> your, your screenshots what? are going to be. Race, do n- no, you do me. Yeah, I do. You do. No, do. When I see space. Yeah, we go pass it normally, Matt. Oh, pass it normally. You can tell you've absolutely hoofed that ball. No, by when you ask for the ball from the AI. Uh, you do it? Uh, or you'll be running in front, like, all the space, go on, Matty, go on. Ah. <laughs> and then it runs down towards you and pass it like well, I'm done oh, thanks for <laughs> um, but to be honest with you we won't know until the 29th really as to what it's going to be like oh, yes 20 what is uh, ultimate 18 uh, no <laughs> ultimate team's got a new verification system now so it keeps the club secure so you can't really get hacked anymore like famous YouTubers did quite often uh, you get squad builder challenges so you can gain rewards, makes players that you might not use more useful. So if you've got a bunch of bronze players, yeah, uh, you can throw them into one of these squad builder challenges. So to, for an example, one of them is, I think, one of the basic ones, take six players from one, two different two different leagues. So have six players in La Liga, La Liga and then another five in Premier League. You get that. They could be rubbish. You might not want to use them, but... You then submit them, they get traded in, you get coins and maybe a contract pack, players pack. They're quite cool to be fair, you get rewards. Obviously the more obviously the squad builder challenges get harder and harder though. Uh, one of them is uh, and it's literally got like seven different objectives, so you need a min a maximum of two players from each league. You have to use six leagues. They have to have an overall at least of seventy five. Chemistry has to be at least 90. Uh, four different nationalities maximum in the squad. And I think What's there was. This for? And this is just for squad builders, and these are like the most uh, hardest types. But you get like the best rewards, so you can get. Have like, you written all this down? Not, no, I've just put little I, notes. I've just put little notes. It can there. In a minute. So you, literally, you can have stuff like that, but the reward, you can get 20,000 coins. Uh, you can get special team of the week players if you do this certain objective, and they've actually like made it so it's. They rewarded. haven't done it so like the only chance you get a player is like paying forty one in a hundred. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They have, they've and actually, then when you finally get him, you go to sell him. He's worth like a grand or something. A penny <laughs> in FIFA in FIFA currency, a penny. Uh, Little side wow. note, new pack animations for when you open packs. Isn't it like they turn round? I'll be classed that yeah, when you get the card cool. and you, you don't see like a number on the back, it's just the shit and then they turn round. And like, so, yeah, some of the top players actually do do that, which is pretty cool. Slightly mixed from players. Uh, surprise me, it's EA. Sorry, um, anyway, that's a great idea by EA, yeah. yeah. Uh, foot Champions, which is the new Ultimate Team mode. Now... I think this could actually be the thing that gets me back to Ultimate Team since FIFA 13. Uh, now, it's kind of like an eSports league. Uh, the first eSports league that they've got has actually got a prize plot of 4 million. You heard that right? <laughs> no, it's just... it. Like the minute you said FIFA 13... It That's just how remi- long it's been. Yeah, it just, it, it just reminds me of the days when me and you were on FIFA, for yeah. a year. Just, Here we need it! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So when, Canada score. I think I've got pictures on my phone. Oh, right. so, uh, if I just look for them on this, it's to do yeah. with the actual. Um, it's been an hour. Uh, ultimate team thing. If I just boot oh, this up, just give me a moment. Stuff I do for you, Morris. So basically, if it was him, he wouldn't move off his chair to sit on the floor. Uh, <laughs> <to see. laughs> no, I would not. If it holds me, 
It's obviously going to hold you. No. Come on. On foot champions, is this thing where you get 40 matches to play with? I thought you said one foot. I was like. Foot champions. Oh, yeah. You get one foot. Anyway, uh, you get 40 matches to play, and you've got to win as many as possible to get a, a good rank. Oh, now shit. I've actually. So it's probably one by accident. <laughs> now I've actually got um, some of the. I actually took pictures because I knew I wouldn't be able to take screenshots because of EA Sports. Now, if you were to win, say, two, three matches, you'd get a, a bronze one, like a ranking. And on the beta, I'm sure this will be scaled down a little bit for the actual thing, but if you get a bronze one rank, you would get 10,000 coins and a jumbo premium gold pack. If you go... Now, that's just bronze one, so that's highest level of bronze. Yeah. If you just play one game, you get bronze three level, you actually get 5,000 coins. Which is not bad, to be fair. You know, one game out of 40. That's but then the prizes get better and better. So if you get to, say, I think it's 12 or 13 games out of 40 wins, you get 25,000 coins, uh, a jumbo premium gold players pack, and a mega pack. Which you'll probably get, like me last season, a bunch of Russian league players. Mm, that nobody wants. Or if you're doing a Russian squad builder, that's how that then links in and it actually comes in handy. But then, obviously, if you get the higher rankings, which are just insane, so you've got gold rankings, so you get 50,000 coins and a jumbo rare players pack. We see jumbo jet. <laughs> gold one, you get 50,000 coins, jumbo rare players pack, which I think I'm right in saying gold one, you have to get like 20 odd wins, 23 wins out of 40. But this is the clever thing about this, the league system that they've done. If you get like 23 wins, you will then be mar- p- partnered up against to play against someone else who's got like 23 odd wins. Oops. So it gets harder as you go on, naturally. So it's not one of them where. No, you could have you could have one win and then go up against someone who's got f- 38 wins. Uh, then there's the elite ranking, which is just ridiculous. I mean, you get. I'm not looking forward to Pro Clubs, to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to Ultimate Team. I'm generally just not looking forward to it due to the general fact. You're <laughs> No, I think no. he was going to say his own ability more than anything else. Well, not just our three abilities, but the fact it's Division 10. And we yeah, all know no, what Division happened last time. Division 10 going to be a nightmare to get out of. I need to hold the man in a minute. Actually, that's a good point. Elite play... Elite... Right, this is Elite 1, and I think if you win 20 out of 40, 125,000 coins... I think it's one Jumbo Rare players back and one Champions Premium Team of the Week player. Do you pick? So you, no, it, it just by random, but you get a Team of the Week player if you get to... Watch it against the very end of FIFA 17 and I'll win like fucking Messi or something. I'll be like, that's this, it, is br- this one though, and, and then it goes into obviously the top 100 in the world. Number one, number one, yeah. 250,000 coins, three... Champions Ultimate Team of the Week pack, so you get three Team of the Week players and five Jumbo Rare players packs. I mean, to be honest with you, if I just to be, if you just look at the let's let's be realistic, the silver player pack, the silver ranks, or maybe even the gold ranks at best, the least, the less amount of gold players. So it's gold one, gold two, gold three, gold three being the lowest. Mm. Gold three, thirty five thousand coins, a mega pack, and two rare players packs. If I'm doing squad builders, which I will be, not bad. I don't think that's bad. And that's basically... I didn't get a chance to play Seasons because I don't really play Seasons in general, to be honest. Seasons isn't too bad. It's not bad, but I didn't play it, so I can't comment on it. So It, it, it was... If you, by any chance, happen to listen to the podcast and got a chance to play the Vita and play Seasons, do tell us what it's like. But in general, it looks nice. Overall, the interface is really nice. Some of the music was pretty good. Some of it was atrocious, <sighs> which is a rarity for FIFA, to be honest. But hopefully that will be better. But to be honest with you, it weren't bad. I'm actually quite happy with the beta. And the demo comes out this week, which I think is Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. And then it comes... So it would be Wednesday, wouldn't it? 11th of today, so yeah. yeah. But, but that's not bad. From It looks like EA Sports have actually tried this season. Whether it'll be any good is another matter. 12 months earlier. Well, EA Sports have tried to do something. <laughs> they actually months. did, and then they changed it. That's the thing. 
12 that's... horse laser. <sighs> hopefully EA Sports are going <laughs> that's to... That's what it is, isn't it? How annoying is that these years? Like, hopefully EA is going to do something. Uh, and then we're Battlefield, like, yeah, right, we'll throw everything we've got. <laughs> it is it, Mikey? Hopefully we'll see him pass this match. <laughs> do, do you know what? Why have you got to do that? Why have you got to do that? Uh, a couple of couple of games that are coming to the PS4. What? Uh, racing games. What? That I looks got it. wrong. I know. Where's that? my phone? I haven't got it. I haven't got it. Get off me. Get off, rape. <laughs> Get him off. There we go. Thank you. That's, yeah. that. That's saved on record. Where's my fucking phone? I haven't phone. got it. Hit your mouth. I haven't got it. Me, honest to God, I've not got your phone. Two, two, two what? lovers kissing in the afternoon. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking honest here, I've not got you. Have you phone. sat on his phone? No! I haven't got his phone! Yeah. This week on CSI. He's under the bed! This week on CSI Mobile. <laughs> Where's his phone? He's got it in his fucking hand, I can see. I haven't! I haven't got it! It's under the bed! It's under the bed! We'll get his phone for him. Well, if he gets away, if he moves his legs, I can get him. And I will prove I haven't got it. <laughs> I'm coming. I knew you had it. <laughs> Give him his phone. Give him his phone as long as he doesn't go on it. You go on it. I won't. You behave yourself. Yeah. Right, don't Stop the Mikey jokes. No, he won't do that. Just give it's him no his phone. No phone then. That's fine. I'll punch in the box. There you go. There you go. Um, a couple of things that are coming to PS4. Um, well, for Xbox, they're getting this a little bit early. Oh, could we just not talk about Xbox? It gets so depressing. It does, knowing how great it was and then how much shit it got. Like, really? Do you, do you understand Sorry, where so, income No, I, I, I don't, because I never had an Xbox. Uh, you so. don't, yeah. Tell us PlayStation's rehab. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, a, 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 don't mind just not talking a about combat, drug a combat, abuse. A combat, a combat racer that's... Uh, do you remember oh the structure? Alright, I'll stop. Okay, now. Just do you remember... Do you remember Destruction Derby back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yes, arena we played it like three yeah, years ago. Well, Destruction Derby's, I'd say it's like a spiritual successor. Uh, Gas Guzzler's Extreme is coming to uh, PlayStation 4 oh, shit. next year. Um, I've seen PC footage of it, and it looks pretty ace. I wanted to buy it myself, but now oh. it's coming to PlayStation. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait. Um, a console release for this will include all the DLC that's already on. It's got 12 game modes, 42 tracks, 12 arenas, 8 different environments, 21 customizable and upgradable cars with 12 unique weapon types and all sorts of other stuff that's coming. So basically, I think I'm right in saying you can have a rocket launcher on the top of your car. Can I say something? Why are you coming over here? Why have you done that? Because it's utter bullshit. What, what, this game? Well, the sound of it. Well, if you not well, if you look at if you actually have a look at it, then you might. We're actually going to like include it. all the DLC. They are said no one ever. They did. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt Rally did. God, you got to give me that. That was a good show. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> funny. Yeah. We will include the DLC for free. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Seto Corsa did. Yeah, but Seto no one's bought it because it's shit. Except for most of the people. Even there, you so. haven't bought them, that's saying something. You, buy oh, fucking you everything. can't change the controller settings. I'm not going to buy it's a game where you can't. Right. There you go. I'm not going to buy a, a game where you can't change the controller settings. I would have done. This is the issue we had with Need for Speed. Can't change the settings. Don't like it. Can't change the settings. No, I don't genuinely just don't like Need for Speed. Because you couldn't change the thing you said. No, because it was good cool anyway. It's a good game. Let's it's not. <laughs> That was a response. He was genuinely yeah. going to say something and burped through his response. I do apologise, but... Uh, uh, I for us talking oh, no, about news. Uh, I'm not done yet. Ow. Another game that's coming is Wreckfest. Um, it's similar. Is that V-Fest in America? No. <laughs> that's sort of like a Demolition Derby style oh, racer as well. Except Wreckfest has genuinely... V-Fest, no, that's a funny one. Wreckfest genuinely has... The best damage simulation in Get the history. See, phone. what did I say? And he goes on his phone. Just... You're wasting him. Hey, you're both as fucking bad as each other. What? Oh, oh, how am I? You're on your... I've got to. To have I? Well, well, go on then, where's your news? You best have some decent news. Where's his news? See, he's actually got a load of his news. He's not even prepared. Share if you missed the original gang. <laughs> I 
<laughs> fucking serious. <laughs> anyway, Wreckfest, for anyone that was actually listening, is coming to uh, PS4 next year. Wreckfest genuinely has the best damage situ- uh, simulation in the history of the land. It's mm. amazing. So that's going to be awesome to have a look that's at. So, so enthusiastic. That's amazing. Yeah. Can I just say something? It's regarding games, actually. Yeah. But the same as I'm apps. Do you have a week when you're like, oh, um, Pokemon Go's got more users? I'm sure that's died off now, by the way. Didn't no, you're joking. Yeah. It's still not... big, mate. Yeah, it's still big. You just, a lot of people just got banned for cheating. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> well, I've just. Really I, cheating? No, it's just. It's basically she's used bots, you link to account to it and stuff. It's stupid, and, isn't it? But basically, what I've been thinking it's is. Like, it's like the guy who bloody um, hacked the Battlefield 1 beta, and it's like. <laughs> it's a beta! Why did he hack the beta? Exactly. Why do you want to cheat on a beta? Exactly. Beta. Be- beta. We're English. Oh, I'm English. Beta. 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 Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Say it properly or you don't get a KFC. Beta. <laughs> it's just sounds like Go on, like go on mate. You're, you're in the middle of your point. Right, sorry. You think about it. <laughs> like, because there's going to be people. See, if I was going to cheat, I would have been clever about it and had two accounts. But a lot of people used the original account to cheat, didn't they? Yeah. So if you think about it, there's going to be a few, a lot of people that have used two accounts. Right. Correct. And they're going to put the figures up. Right. Two people aren't going to use the same Tinder account, are they? Well, you can't, can you? Well, you can. If you have another Facebook. Because you can have Gmail oh, and yeah. Facebook. Oh, okay. I do you know what I mean? That. You're not going to be switching between the Tinders. Oh, I've already matched with her. I can't do that. I can't do that. Do you know what I mean? It's that sort of... Do you get where I'm going? So technically, Tinder is still, it's not statistically, but in, well, Mikey not retarded, cheating-wise, it's still the top app, if you consider it. Well, no, because Pokemon go blue Tinder into the weeds. Dude, but don't forget, most, some of them are going to be cheating accounts, not, and not that all of them. Pokemon not company all. and thingy went absolutely apeshit. No reason to know that. It was two of the lads I know who did it. <laughs> it work. So yeah. like, um, at home you were just like, yep, ding, left it for like twelve hours in like New York City and shit. You're getting, you're, you said you were gonna, you were thinking about a while ago with the crew. You said you were playing it. Yeah. You know how you said you were gonna buy the DLC. Have I bought it yet? Is that what you ask? Oh, that's what I was gonna buy. This is what I'm getting onto. Wow. Well, because the crew, well, the Royal Run, has now got another expansion coming. Well, I might as well fucking wait. Buy the no, season. Yeah, Buy the season pass. It's like 20 quid. The season, they've now introduced, they're coming up with a call, it's, I think, the, what's the expansion called? Calling all units. Oh, yeah, the police one. Police one, yeah. Was uh, it the Aventador? Uh, you, know, you can now, basically, it allows you to play as a police officer for the very first time and introduces a new cops versus racer gameplay. You could be Officer Pickles! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the expansion is said to be inspired. Why am I so amazed by that? What the hell is wrong with The me? police is going to be retuned, so the AI is going to be a lot better. Newer levels, yeah. new wide range of vehicles, etc. But, and this comes to a comment that he said not so long ago, and I believe you said that the crew was dead. Me or him? Him. <laughs> the amount of people that I've seen go back onto the crew in the last I, few months. To be honest, I actually went back in it a while. Yeah, ago. exactly. I made a new account just to go back on it. In um, the the wild, you know with the wild one? Yeah. You have to yeah. download that to get the um, weather expansion. You don't? No, you don't. I, or is that I'm on automatically? It, I, it's it's on automatically. It's automatically. single For the wild run, updates. sorry, you need to... You, wait, in the wild run, you get... Monster Truck. The wild run gets downloaded. The wild run gets downloaded anyway. It's just the actual contents of the wild run. It's basically that has the pass. separate, yeah. yeah. That's what Ubisoft do. So like on Division. Yeah. When they had the big updates, it wasn't an update. It was basically for the new underground thing. Speaking of which, the new update for the Division comes out soon. I played I it. Still no, the have first one. No, the second one. I mean, it's coming out soon. Because we, I haven't even played Underground yet. Wait, how much is Wild Run, by the way? Yeah, two seconds. Uh, so, I'm, I'm not sure. Do you want to go through? Because I can't actually move any further. So, uh, I'll double check what the Wild... The se- actually, I'll just check the crew season price. Oh, are all the shops shut at four, don't they? All the shops shut at four. So I was going to go to Sainsbury's... Oh, go and get some PSN points. Hey. Yeah, you could always go to Sainsbury's, or is that not open till... The small one's open till 11, tonight. Uh, apparently... The season pass is twenty five dollars. So twenty quid. 
It might be dark. It might be a little bit less. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be yeah, it'd be twenty quid. But I think the actual packs themselves are about a tenner. Got to pay ten for each pack. Well, no, it might be a bit less than that. To be honest. So you pay for the Wild One expansion pack, then you have to pay for the expansion pack two, expansion pack three. That's why you get the season pass. That's what. That's what I was asking. How much is yeah, season pass? Twenty quid. Oh, ah, that's decent. I did say twenty quid. Oh. Did you get the season pass for Assassin's Creed Syndicate? No. So you didn't get Jack the Ripper and that? Nope, I want to play it though. Well, the season pass is still available, and I've just finished the second DLC off, which was released in March. I actually That's didn't the, know. Um, Indian one, isn't it? Last Maharaja. The Last Maharaja. Last Maharaja. That was close. I know, it's so difficult to pronounce. Even I can't pronounce it properly yet. But, um, yeah, I finished that off. Not as good as Jack the Ripper, to be honest. But the missions are quite cool. Oh, that's another thing. There's no real plot. I'll, I'll be brutally honest. There's no real plot, but it is pretty ace to play. I did enjoy did you it. See the um, DLC are, downloads for just cause free. Which no, I didn't see that. But I need to remind him because he's got the season pass, so I need to tell him. Just cause free's got a C one, Air one, yeah, and Ground one. It's all robots. They ruined it by putting robots in the fucking game. I don't know. I haven't played it. Didn't you complete the game? No, I still haven't finished it. Oh, fucking Been shit. Been up for nearly it. a year. Well, I don't, I don't know because I haven't. I mean, the first ten minutes of the game were great, and then oof, you're off topic. Like, but you are, you're going slightly off topic. Well, no, we're talking about DLCs. Yeah. Oh, actually, that. speaking of DLC, but I want to wait for him to come in before I talk. It's Destiny related, actually. All right, I'll say about my Batman deal. Yeah, thing then. Right, a while ago we said Batman Arkham Returns was getting delayed inevitably, but indefinitely. Oh, that. But a while. I hate to, I hate to correct you, but inevitably is different from indefinitely okay but I think it was a couple of days ago there was a post online saying from the Arkham page itself on Facebook that it's being released on October 29th fully that's the same day as FIFA so nope <laughs> October 29th oh sorry I thought you said September no October 29th so that's you'll a... get remastered version of Arkham Asylum Arkham Knight the graphics do look different on that's bits. probably because it's coming up to the pro because it'll be getting upscaled onto the road for sure. Yeah. I don't know. If the add on. You're going to buy it. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy it because I'm a Batman freak. But if you. If He's they, a super freak. <laughs> yeah, they need to put Origins in it. Honestly, it's not made by the same people. It was no, they won't, they, they won't do it. For it's sure. It's a division, but it's just a fun story, to be fair. But isn't Origins technically the least favourite one I'd have thought? From what I know. From the pure fans, e.g. myself. Yeah, but it, the game mechanics just the same. There's more tools to use, but... Biggest, speaking speaking of um, um, uh, related superheroes, uh, more Spider-Man footage was shown at the uh, PlayStation Ooh. conference. From the right, I know what I'm watching later. Yeah, they showed... So it wasn't like... It, I think it was just like a trailer sort of thing. I didn't get the chance to watch it myself, but... That, again, went down well. Another trailer? I think it was a trailer. Sure. Well, I didn't see it, so I don't know. But I've, I've heard the reaction was good. That's for sure. What That's I know. That's meant to be getting released according to Tesco next December. Not this December coming. Twenty seventeen December. Oh yeah, yeah. Which would tie in with the movie quite nicely. I don't know because the oh, movie. Oh, have you seen who they cast for um, Mary Jane? No, I can't pronounce her name. It's Sakira or something like she's that. Not Ginger. No, no, she's not Ginger. So the redhead next door things at the window. Yeah, which is uh, which is a shame. Um, wow. Oh, more Marvel news. Doctor Strange one brought forward. For when? October, apparently. I can't remember who told me that, though. I think it was him. He was saying Doctor Strange, the movie's been brought oh, forward. That, that'll, so be, good. that'll be sure for a film that I'm going to have to see, Doctor Strange. I love, I love yeah, Doctor I Strange, it, so... I saw the trailer, it looked like Inception, but... Ooh. Yeah, but Doctor Strange is basically Inception. Oh, yeah. That's where Inception got... I think it was the idea it was from Doctor Strange if I'm right saying hmm. uh, well loose very loosely obviously oh, you've directed Inception uh, Christopher Nolan that was going to say because he did the um, Dark Knight series yeah um, you may notice we're, we're stalling a bit it's only, a because, it's only because of him so um, uh, oh I'll, t- I'll talk to you about something F1 2016 how far are you into it I've now got to What's the track after Monza? It'd be Singapore, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm at to Monza now. I'm at Singapore. I'm second in a McLaren. <laughs> in the championship? Yeah. Okay, just to anyone that doesn't know, I've now won in the manor at Spa. <laughs> Although, to be fair, that was down to my wet weather ability more than anything else. 
Yeah. And a last corner overtake at the bus stop on Hamilton on the final lap. I ran slightly wide and had the inside, so I just sort of squeezed them slightly and I had enough. And then at Monza, again, on the intermediate uh, weather, the AI on there, intermediates aren't particularly quick. I'm not sure on ultimate difficulty because I'm not there yet, but I have actually gone up to ultimate difficulty from Singapore onwards, so it'd be interesting to see how I get on there. But I am very much enjoying F1 at the moment. I am, I'm yeah. still enjoying the game. Although... And it's good because I'm glad the betas came out when they did because it didn't give me the chance to finish off the career mode or the first go. season in one... The thing I have got an issue with, my driving technique destroys the tyres. Have you now finally realised that your driving <laughs> style is not particularly great for F1? Um, or most games? Yeah. <laughs> For the past three races, actually, you know my what? My tyres have blown on me in the last two laps. I can't wait for I can't wait for Gas Guzzlers and Wreckfest to come out because you well on Gas Guzzlers in particular because your racing style is actually going to suit it. Yeah, and they're going to be good. Get I I'm, to it's, be honest, it, I it lost me a podium now in Bahrain. Yeah, second to last lap. <laughs> <laughs> you know that back straight. <laughs> Let's go down the back straight. Have a fucking punch. Yeah, go left, then right, then down the straight. <laughs> I had hilarious moments at, at Monza. I was in the lead, and Nico Rosberg and Vettel were battling each other, and Hamilton dives up the inside of those two because he ran wide at Parabolica. He got second place, he pulled into the pits. So obviously he was first into the pits, so Rosberg was going to carry on. And as he went to carry on, Vettel went across him like that, both went <laughs> flying. Vettel got damaged front wing, and Rosberg's car just obliterated into the pit lane post. Oh, I think... I actually flipped my car. No, the the car. Oh yeah, this, they do need to improve that. By the way, that's ridiculous. There's a car in the middle of the track, and there's no safety car or okay. virtual. No. So, code masters, get on that, will you, please? That's probably, probably the only block really I can think of at the moment because they've improved the AI since the update. Is it? They've had two updates. Yeah, the update, the uh, the AI have not improved on the update. They're more aggressive. They're really good now. Remember that online race we had. Which, speaking of... yeah, when I got, Speaking of which, which, you didn't even take part in. <laughs> hey, I went through half the race and then got blew up by Gutierrez, the Mexican enchilada himself. You had four laps. <laughs> no. Yes. It was, it was just before the pit window, which had been lap six. Uh. Oh, half the race. <laughs> I got blew up, by the way, people. I made a mistake earlier in the lap, so Gutierrez got on onto the back of me and basically just turned into me and blew me up they on the straight. They do do that quite a bit, I've noticed. I mean, going in spa, you know, the... Um, Oh, what's the corner after the oh, Rouge? After the long straight. Oh, well, we just got to say the corner af- on that camel straight. Right. I think it's like Com, but... Yeah, um... I was turning in, and I was going wide, because I've done a bit of understeer. And... <laughs> oh, you say that, done a bit of understeer, <laughs> like it's a trick. <laughs> it wasn't a trick. It was an unforced error. <laughs> and then somebody decides to just come across me and go... Poof. Crazy. It is crazy to be fair. I mean, all they have to do is literally just fixate the car a little bit, Aww. and it'll be, it'll be fine then. Oh, the virtual safety car. Fettel goes <laughs> instant stop halfway around the fucking street. If they stop, you can overtake them. I mean, he stops and goes again. No, if they stop, you can overtake because they're technically not moving. But obviously, because they've stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised how thick that sounded, isn't it? That's it, Mikey's in here. <laughs> they stopped moving. Mikey, is that you? <laughs> no, but I've now got to, because I'm at Singapore, I can now choose to, now this is quite a cool option that you'll get to in the next race. Are you number one driver at McLaren, I'm assuming now? No, number two. But well, I'm number one driver at McLaren, and I can now choose to stop my R&D. And the advantage of it is, I then gain 25% R&D points for the rest of the season until Australia comes around for the next season. But I'm still half and half between if someone offers me a contract for next season, I might move up to them. So I don't know yet. I'm tempted just to stick with McLaren until they get the full R&D. But you get a cheap, well, you get a um, trophy for it. Yeah. Got the right word this time. Eventually. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that and then... Did I... I'm very much enjoying um, F1. F1 at the moment. I actually have as well. It's a good game. It's a very um... honestly, it's a lot better. The graphics are great, except the shadows piss me off at times. They've actually fixed that little um, weird dust thing that was coming out the back. You know when when they were talking about it online. 
Yeah. And they used to have like really weird bits of dust just fly out the back of the car. They fix that now. You know when um, Canada... It's gone off the tyres, by the way. You know 2015 on Canada I showed you that little... Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you reckon that's still there? No, it's gone. Is it? I've been past it a number of times now. Because it was this weird pixel and really ticked me off. <laughs> it was the same corner yeah, each time. Did you, no- did you notice it when I told you? Words. The pixel. That pixel. I it, told it, you. I knew about it. I think I didn't say anything, but I might have told you. I've known it for about half of through the year of going in it. Yeah. And it just ticked me off that much when we did our online race. I just decided, Mel. <laughs> I, really, I really want him to get F1. <laughs> so do I. And turn traction control off. Hey, alright, buddy. And da 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 We stalled anyway, so we just wait for to come back. But, um. He doesn't look happy what's happening. One thing I was going to mention was to do with um, Destiny. Mm. The Rise of Iron comes out on, uh, is it the 20th? I think it's out. No, it's no not. I, think, I don't think it's out yet. They had an update for it yesterday. Yeah, oh yeah, they had the update, which I was going to talk about. Update, ladies and gentlemen, is 15 gig. Yeah, I've downloaded it already. For Rise of Iron. So for everyone that hasn't downloaded it already, mm. get downloading it, it now. It says the Rise of Iron on the 20th of September. Yeah, 20th of September, I know. Of, is that when you can actually use it? That's when you can use it, but the, you know what Bungie like? They always get you to download the bulk of it, oh, and then right, it's right. like literally a little patch. Oh, fair. Maybe like 400 meg, like they always do, to get the extra. But I've, I, my PlayStation is in rest mode at the moment. I'm wondering how much it's done. Probably but 15 that. gig, I'm looking forward to the Rise of Iron. I won't be able to get it till the 26th, but... You know they have free games, don't they, on the PSN store? Journey. It's no, one no, of, no. Yeah, no, that's yeah. what Journey's one of them this month, that's just one that I've yeah, got. It's not the monthly games. Oh. Because you know when they're down the bottom, you have demos and free games. Oh, yeah, they? yeah. Well, they have the, the, the fuck it, DC Superheroes game. Mm-hmm. They've got that, but they've also got a Star Trek game. Is that the thing that you're telling me about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the old Star Wars Old Republic game? Yeah. It's basically that, but Star trek So you can be a Trekkie! Yay! There we go. Okay. Well, Matty's just gonna. You got any more gaming news? Because I know I'm done, and I know he's done. I think uh, that's the pod anyway. I think so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening in to the podcast. Do you really have to jump over people's lives? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> See you next week, and we've been the to. Anyway, so if you <laughs> want to follow me and Mikey on Twitter, you can follow. No, Mikey. no, we're finished. No, finished. no, no, no. He's finished. finished. He's out of the. Set. Yeah, I know. If you want to follow. Mikey on Twitter, it's Mikey Heat next day. Yeah, just look for the good looking chap. <laughs> Shut up, you're not even involved in the podcast now. Uh, if you want to follow Jack Millington on Twitter, it's JetCM53. If you want to follow Nobhead over there, he it's. He does that uh, one because you can't be fucking asked. But you can follow him on his road, we'll give you the, the address and the details. Give him the postcode, that'd be even funnier. That'd no, if you give him the address, he'll be able to go right outside his door. Yeah, and, he'll, and he'll share his team biscuits. Dude, yeah, but if you give him the postcode. It's like a treasure map, isn't it? So they all go to this postcode. Like, okay, so we've got to find this one. And, that, and then anyone with a brain will go, he's got a Mazda 2. There it is. There is his house. <laughs> it's just nothing at the door. Hello. It's Marty here. I'm a big fan. No. <laughs> oh, you can follow us on Facebook. For, uh, yeah, you can like us on Facebook. We actually got a like the other week. So, we? yeah, we got Oh, we got, we've got. I think it's been quite an unusual year. Chaps, we've had. Three subscribers and another like. Another like on Facebook. I think we should have a Vardy party. Vardy <laughs> party. Uh, and I, Jamie Vardy's having a party. Bring the coat. And I think, that, I think that's it for this week's podcast. So it's bye from Robert. No, he oh. said bye. He said bye. It's over. Bye. 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 Sorry, bye. Shut up. Bye from Mikey. You are a child, are you? Just... Bye from Mikey. Bye. Um, it's goodbye from... The host as always. It's bye from me and we've been the S team.